The publishing world has a new infusion of enthusiasm and energy, all because of an online community of book lovers gathering on TikTok, known as Book Talk. It's not just a place for book recommendations and reviews, it's also helping to drive book sales. Jeff Bennett takes a look at this growing phenomenon. I remember going to a Barnes and Noble and I saw a book talk table and I kind of went over there and looked at some of the books that were on that. I remember seeing those books and being like, oh, I'm interested in this. Like, what is this? Lee Lynch isn't alone. Step inside a bookstore in the last year. Colorful tables like this one are now a common part of the book buying experience. By day, Lynch works as a therapist. In her spare time, she creates videos on the social media platform TikTok, focused entirely on books. If you are new here, my name is Lee, and I'm reading a book from every independent country in Africa in 2022. I was on maternity leave. Um, I was reading a ton of books because I had a ton of time, I, kind of. Lynch says she used that time to immerse herself in book talk, a space for anyone who loves books. A little life. The magnum opus of sadness. Fun fact, the cover is actually just a picture of me when I finished reading it. And it has a black queer main character, black witches, paranormal, ghosts, a little bit of romance, but mostly thriller and horror. January, February, March. Book Talk is having a major impact on the book industry. In 2021, adult fiction driven by Book Talk grew by 25% over the previous year. Last year, it grew another 8%. I think a lot of people hopped on TikTok, especially during the pandemic, because we were isolated. Adrian Cepeda, who owns a bookstore, has himself jumped into the world of book talk. This was a way for me to reach people again through books and recommendations and really try and talk to them again about what they wanted to see and what they wanted to read. Cepeda says his own book talk videos and others are driving sales at his store. The minute a book talk video goes viral, the sales in my store go up for that book. BookTok has become the go-to platform for readers looking to find recommendations for books in all kinds of genres, not always in the mainstream. So it's like a mini universe of books that is encompassed in a social media platform. Chama Woozy, who goes by Chibi Reading on TikTok, has 17,000 followers. You're going to get your nonfiction, your true crime, your fantasy, your romance, all of it. Click on one of those videos, like, I like fantasy, Lord of the Rings was cool. And now all of a sudden you find this book about, like, in 2500, like, humans have become robots and <laughs> they now live on Jupiter and you were just looking for a book. The diversity of books featured on BookTok is also expanding the type of books that are selling, says Kristen McLean, the executive director of NPD Books and Entertainment, a company that tracks book sales. The largest categories uh, that have grown are also the largest categories uh, on book talk. So things like romance, contemporary women's fiction, thrillers and mysteries, fantasy, all of those have very strong followings on TikTok. And we've seen the authors that are embraced by TikTok being the leading authors driving the growth in these categories this year. It completely took people by surprise. New York Times journalist Elizabeth Harris has been reporting on the meteoric rise of book talk. TikTok can really really make an author. I and mean, it can be a new author, it can be an author that's been around for a while, a book that's been around for a long time, a classic, a brand new novel, um, anything. There's kind of a, no limit to how much, how many people can kind of take off on TikTok. Samantha Shannon is one of those authors. Her 2019 book, The Priory of the Orange Tree, is filled with dragons and queer characters. Shannon recalls a conversation with her grandmother, wondering if the book would succeed. And I remember telling her what it was about. And she said, Samantha, is, are we absolutely certain that anyone's going to want to read a book about dragons and lesbians? I know that Game of Thrones is successful, so people definitely want the dragon part. Um, I'm hoping that they will also want the rest of it. I want to be so immersed that I'm thinking about the book, even when I'm not reading it. And I was thinking about the Priory of the Orange Tree all the time. I feel so quenched by this book. Quenched. With TikTok, I've discovered there's actually a huge community of readers that really want to read those kinds of books. And um, I often have readers asking me, you know, like, is it sapphic? Is it about women loving women? And that's something that they're actively looking for and asking for. Adrian says BookTok is a place to find connections that are relevant to his identity. I didn't see myself in stories until I was in college. And then I had to work backwards. Right. And I thought it was a very singular experience for myself. But when I got onto book talk, it, it showed me that, oh, we all did, we all went to the same thing. We're all just trying to help people diversify their shelves so their kids don't feel like we did. 
And Lee says the connections are even broader. They're global. Being able to join this community and find other people who not only look like me, but also share this interest was such a big moment for me. It made me just feel a part of a, a community, of a greater community than what I grew up in. 